Today in Luther's Kitchen, we're making cheese crackers. Making cheese crackers is a lot like making pie dough. You want to have very cold, cold ingredients. So to begin with, we're starting with two cups of all-purpose flour, and we're going to pulse that in the bowl of a food processor along with one teaspoon kosher salt and one eighth of a teaspoon baking powder. Now we're gonna cut one stick of unsalted butter into tiny cubes. It's important to keep the butter cold, so if you've touched the butter too much and it's starting to soften, you may wanna pop it in the freezer before putting it into the bowl of a food processor. You want to pulse this until the mixture resembles very large breadcrumbs so that the flour is covering the pieces of butter, kind of like the size of peas. At that point, you wanna turn the machine off and you wanna add super cold water, about three tablespoons. At this point, you don't wanna add too much water, so if after three tablespoons your mixture hasn't come together almost into a ball, then you can add one tablespoon more, but be careful, don't overdo it. Once your mixture is close to being a ball, you wanna add in your cheese. So we're using a mix of cheese. We've got some white cheddar, some yellow cheddar, and Parmesan cheese. And we use about three-fourths cup of cheddar that's grated and a quarter cup of Parmesan. So we've got one cup total of cheese. And then you wanna pulse this just a couple times to combine everything. If you're using mix-ins, this would be a great time to put them in. So if you want to give your crackers a little bit of kick, you could put in half a teaspoon of chipotle powder. Or if you wanted to add some fresh herbs to it, you could put a tablespoon of fresh chives or a tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves. You want to dump the dough out onto a piece of parchment paper and you want to form a log that's about two inches wide two to three inches wide. So using the paper and your hands, and you don't want to touch it too much because you want the dough to try to remain chilled, you want to roll it to get that log shape, just like that. At this point, you want to cover it with the parchment paper and put it into the refrigerator for at least an hour so it firms up before slicing it. You could wrap it really well and you could freeze it at this point and then take it out when you want fresh crackers uh, or you could leave it in the refrigerator overnight. So this has been sitting in the fridge overnight and it is really, really firm, which is perfect. You are going to wanna cut this into pieces that are about a uh, half an inch thick quarter of an inch, two and a half, half an inch thick, depending on how thick you want the cracker. These don't really widen, they don't spread um, when they bake, so it just depends on how thick of a cracker you would like. And you wanna try to get even pieces. So give it all a slice and have two baking sheet pans ready with parchment paper and prepare an egg wash by cracking one egg and whisking it with a teaspoon of water and we're gonna use some fleur de sel or sea salt to sprinkle on top of these crackers. You wanna preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And again, we're gonna brush the tops with the egg wash, and then we're gonna sprinkle some salt on. These are gonna take about uh, 12 to 15 minutes to bake until they are turning golden brown around the edges and the center is set. And then you can let them cool and you can store them in an airtight container for a few days and they will taste fantastic. These are a spectacular appetizer. For this recipe and more, visit myclasscancook.com.